Hello. Today we're going to talk about shoulder pain. Occasionally you can have a bone spur underneath this bone here called the acromion. If you have a bone spur underneath that acromion, what happens is that bone spur will dig into this tendon or irritate that bursa when you have certain movements, particularly raising above your head. That is called impingement. When you raise your arm above your head, that brings this rotator cuff tendon under this bone, which exposes it to the bone spur. Chronically, that can cause inflammation and pain in some people. Now, some people have these bone spurs that don't bother them at all. And if that's the case, we don't do anything with that. If it does uh, bother the patients, oftentimes an injection and exercise will help. Now, sometimes the, when the injections and exercise do not help, an MRI may be warranted to look at the tendon itself to make sure that this tendon is healthy because sometimes you can have degeneration or tearing of this tendon structure. If you have a partial tendon tear, less than 50%, usually injection, therapy, anti-inflammatories and modification activities are tried first. If it is a full tear, meaning one of the tendons are actually detached from the bone and retracted backward, depending on your activity level and your pain, and what uh, treatment methods you've tried previously, surgery may be an option for that patient, particularly if it is an acute injury. Usually we like to treat these sooner as opposed to later because when that tendon tears, it can retract, retract back. This muscle will atrophy and actually scar because it's not being used anymore. The tendon retracts back like a rubber band. Then it becomes very hard to pull that tendon back and fix it at a later date. Usually we do not like to wait more than six to eight weeks, sometimes longer, but usually for the most part we like to fix these within a couple of months. Fixing these tendons, if they're torn, just requires us to put a small anchor into the bone here with a stitch. The stitch pulls the tendon back down to the bone and holds it in a position. That allows the bone, or the tendon, to grow back into its insertion site in the bone and heal, scar, and mature, allowing you to raise your arm back up, externally rotate, or whatever motion that tendon was responsible for previously. That also decreases the risk of multiple tears. If you have one tear in your tendon, most oftentimes the remaining tendons can tear as well. And a posterior tendon tear like this can spread anteriorly. And if all of your tendons are torn, then you lose the mechanism to hold this ball into the socket. When that mechanism is gone, this ball migrates up into this bone here and actually moves or slides upward, malaligning itself with the socket, and you can develop arthritis. And that becomes a very difficult problem to treat, which oftentimes can require uh, something like a uh, arthroplasty or a replacement of the shoulder. So that is one main reason why we recommend addressing these smaller tears early as opposed to waiting until they become massive tears and become harder to fix. The earlier you can fix these tears, the better prognosis and long-term outcome you will have regarding your rotator cuff. Another problem with the uh, shoulder can be acromioclavicular joint arthritis, which is where these two bones meet, the clavicle and the acromion and there's a joint right here and sometimes this joint can become arthritic and painful and hurt when you reach across your chest like you're putting a seat belt on. If that's the case what happens is this bone bumps into that bone when you reach across and it irritates it. Sometimes we can put some steroid in here to calm this down. Other times we can physically remove the bone spurs between these two joints, between these two bones, opening up the space so these bones do not bump into each other anymore. Uh, occasionally you will have an athlete that falls on their shoulder and this bone will become dislocated or rise up and sometimes depending on how much dislocation you have this can be treated in a sling or sometimes this can require surgery. The other issue that you may deal with with, shoulder, with the shoulder is a shoulder dislocation. We see this occasionally in patients that are contact sport that do contact sports or traumatic or a patient that has a tra had a traumatic fall. This is when the ball in the socket mechanism, the ball pops out of the socket and takes a piece of the socket with it. That piece of the socket changes the construct of the shoulder. 
So if you think of your shoulder as a ball and socket mechanism, almost like a golf ball and a golf tee, when there's a chip on the golf tee, the golf ball will roll off. The same thing with the shoulder. When there's a chip in the cup, the ball will roll off, and so you are more likely to have recurrent dislocation in the shoulder. This is uh, also can be a surgical issue, which we can address arthroscopically through some small poke holes in the shoulder. Uh, once again, it depends on the patient, depends on their activity level, and uh, what their expectations are. But as I've said before, if you have any of these symptoms and they're not improving over one to two weeks, then I do recommend that you seek out a specialist and have your shoulder evaluated. And always, always do your due diligence and get a second opinion if needed. Thank you.